Hello. Come on in, come in, come in. Mm. Me too. Hello, 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 hello. God bless you. God bless you. Hello, good people. How are you? Aretha Clark, hello. God bless you. Daughters of the Promise, join my mom's on. Whoop, whoop. Hello, mother. God bless you. Y'all follow my mother. Daughters of the Promise. You say daughter of Primey. Her name is Deborah McNair. Hit her up. You can find her under Deborah McNair. Uh, follow her. She got some good mama moments. She does mama moments. Really, really good. She she gives you those different moments. Follow her on Periscope. And you can look under Deborah McNair. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. I look marvelous. Well, God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Hello, hello. You know, oh, you had your baby a few days ago. Well, congratulations. So exciting for you. God bless you. Hope the baby not keeping you up too late. That's wonderful. I'm glad you came through all right and everything's good. All the toes, all the fingers. I'm hoping everything's good and great. That's awesome. Hello, Bahamas. How are you? God bless you. Tomorrow is B. Wilkes' birthday. Prophetess Wilkerson, make sure you give her a good... God bless you tomorrow. <laughs> she is going to be uh, the right kind of mode. What you going to be? I don't know how old you going to be. Gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> she going to be 31 years old tomorrow. 31 years young. Young, young, young woman of God. I was about to say she's going to be 21. She's going to be 31. Uh, when I first met Proverbs Wilkerson, I thought she was like 18 or 19. <laughs> I was wrong. She had that baby face. Yes. Yeah, she's a young buck. <laughs> so she will be turning 31 tomorrow. So you guys wish you could give her a good shout out. She does have a baby face, doesn't she? Sacramento, California. Woo woo. Glad you joined us. Lola, how you doing? God bless you. So I'll bring my first year of marriage. Yes. Hallelujah. Good bless your name. Miss Jackson, do me a favor and inbox me. I'm going to send you my book for your first year of marriage. I'm going to send it as a present, okay? For your anniversary gift, make sure you inbox me on Facebook. So there's a couple of things I want to address um, real quick before we get started. So let me go ahead and get to those. Um, that being pen, that being pen. Okay. Oh, uh, let me see. Okay. So let's pray. And then we're going to start addressing some things. Please share with your followers. Invite your people. Um, you know, if they want them to know about the Dream Scope. Some people don't want them to know about Dream Scope, but invite them anyway. Uh, <laughs> let them know we're on. Thank you for inviting your followers. I appreciate that. Something about St. Clair, Michigan. I missed it. I don't know what you said. I'm sorry. Um, but yes, yes. Come back through with that comment. Thank you for all those who are inviting right now. I appreciate it. Miss Marty K. How you doing? God bless you. She's an awesome woman of God. Her husband started an awesome ministry. You guys should check them out. Really awesome people. I really love them. Very encouraging. Very solid word. Check them out for sure. Come to Oklahoma. Okay, well, I gotta get invited to Oklahoma. <laughs> All right, let's get ready to pray, and then we're gonna get into this, okay? Lord, we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, because you're truly a good and awesome God, and beside you there is no other God. I love you, Lord, with all my heart. I ask you, God, today to let me decrease that you may increase in me. Holy Spirit, come and give him revelation, insight, knowledge, and wisdom. God, we need to hear from you and not from me, but we need to hear for your voice. So, God, today prepare the hearts of your people to receive today all that is said and let it come from you. Let me speak forth the word of God. And God, will just touch your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Something about Donisha. Okay. So anyway, I want to say a couple of things before we get started. Um, one thing I want to talk about is Facebook. Okay. So people have been coming to my personal page and trying to send me messages. Well, I didn't know that Facebook had a um, another mailbox. So if we're not friends on Facebook, I don't see your messages unless I go into the other mailbox. So when I finally went into this other mailbox, there's probably like 40 messages in there. So I want to apologize if you sent me one there. I didn't even know it was another mailbox. I had no idea. Like, it's just craziness. I mean, it doesn't even, like, it doesn't even give you any kind of notification that they're in there. So I went on there, and literally 40 messages just in there, just sitting. I even had one for Boss of Eckhart. <laughs> I was like, oh, I didn't know it was in there. So if you want to reach me, go to my ministry page. Go to my ministry page, 
is Rain Fire Ministries International. Like that page, message me from that page, and I usually get them, okay? But if you come to my personal page, you gotta message, message me, and we're not actually friends on Facebook, I'm not getting them, okay? So, uh, I started going through them, but it was so far back that I just was like, forget it. They probably don't need to know that this answer anymore. <laughs> so, go to my actual Facebook ministry page. It's Rain Fire Ministries International. You guys can do it there, and you can message me from that page, okay? Do that. I can find you, like the page, and then you can speak to me uh, through that page, okay? Um, the other thing, I want to address this. Um, because someone actually sent me an email about it, but I was going to address it anyway, and they actually reminded me, so it was really good. I'm glad they did uh, remind me. I was watching a, a prophet the other day um, that I was following, that I'm not following anymore, but I was following them um, on Periscope, and they did like a dream dictionary type thing, what dreams mean. They give you dream symbols. Um, now, I told you guys before that you cannot follow everybody. Uh, also, when we get our dream symbols, we get them from a biblical point of view. Your dream symbols should come from the Bible, right? They need to have some kind of scripture behind them. Um, if you came to the conference, I talked specifically about 80% of dream symbols that are out there are not of God, right? And they lead you away from God, okay? So you need to make sure that dream symbols come from the Bible, it needs to be biblical, okay? And I know we can get confused sometimes because we're following people who say they have the Spirit of God or a man or woman of God, and they're telling us something, and so then it's hard to decipher. Some questions you might want to ask is, where are they getting the information from? Um, there's nothing wrong with asking that, right? I tell you guys all the time, oh, let me move this, where I get my information from, I'll give you the scriptures behind it, why I said that, i tell you what they are, I'll tell you give them some books to find. So there's nothing wrong with asking questions, okay? Um, but it was quite alarming, I might ask. It was quite alarming, uh, some of the things that were said. Um, one of the things that was said was that spider webs um, are surveillance. Um, there's no biblical basis for that. Um, it also talks about pregnancy not being of God, uh, which is not true. Of course, we know Mary's pregnant in the Bible. I mean, so many, so many pregnancy instances in the Bible. So when you're pregnant in the Bible, what it means? Right. So if you're pregnant in the Bible, what it means based on Mary, she had promised that she birthed out Christ, all these different things. And so you need to make sure that when you're listening to someone, that what they're saying lines up with the Bible. Uh, someone told me, I think uh, another thing was like, um, you're going to give birth to your enemies and um, uh, losing teeth means death. In your family, losing teeth does not mean that. You know, we go through scripture on that. Many instances of losing teeth means losing wisdom and understanding. It could be decay. All these things are in the Bible, okay? You need to have a biblical understanding <laughs> of dreams and visions. I suggest you get a, a good um, dictionary on it. I am diligently finishing my book, so you guys can have mine. Um, but, you know, I use the divinity code to understand your dreams and visions for their symbols. They have specific um, instances in the Bible that give you scriptures to back up what they're saying. You need to have scriptures to back it up. Don't let people just tell you random things. You'll be super scared, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's useful to watch people, but you also want to ask questions. If they tell you something like that, you need to ask them why it is, okay? Um, I've watched other prophets do healing and deliverance and do very odd things that, you know, don't normally take place in healing and deliverance saying very crazy things and you got to be careful okay because um a lot of times we get mixtures within the christian body okay you can have people who come from different backgrounds um and if they come from certain backgrounds sometimes the people mix what they learned um from pagan guys or pagan traditions or religions um witchcraft type things that come up in their backgrounds and they mix them in with biblical things and so they don't let go of them. So when you ask them a question, you're getting folklore, you're getting spiritual, you know, spiritist type things, you're getting superstition, um, those type of things, right? So what you need to do is you need to find out where they got it from, and you need to, to ask a question. It, and it's okay that they don't want to answer your question. Then normally you know it's probably a problem there. Okay, just be respectful whenever you ask the question, but they need to answer you with some kind of <laughs> real significant understanding. Um, you can't just tell me um, that I'm going to die. So I need some more information behind death, okay? So that's why it's important that you guys don't just listen to everybody. And I was very alarmed, actually, uh, when I was watching it um, because, and I started a couple times went up there, you need to follow me. <laughs> 
Follow me. <laughs> I started to do that, but um, we can lead people really astray. I mean, even on Facebook pages I've been on where people have decided they're going to be dream interpreters and um, they don't have any kind of understanding of it. Um, so, you know, people should have some kind of understanding of what they're telling you. Um, they shouldn't just be telling you something about you asking a, a question about where they're getting information from. Um, you can open all kinds of doors and give you real problems um, in that area, okay? So just be careful out there um, on Periscope. Be careful about who you're following. Um, I'm not saying that I have the monopoly on dreams and visions by any means, but just make sure that who you're following has some understanding of God, uh, what, they're, what the information they're giving you, where the source of the information comes from, um, and make sure that they're giving you some information, you know, really that comes from God. And, and biblical, biblical background, not superstition, not folklore, um, not witchcraft type things. Um, a lot of the websites out there, 80% of the websites you find on the internet are not backed by biblical understanding. They're self-healing, uh, self-centered type things. They're uh, all kind of spiritual, spiritual, uh, new meditate, like new, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, you know, talking about the new new wave, new age religion. Yeah, she's not on it today. She's not. She looking at her phone talking. She ain't listening to me today. She's a new age religion. Oh my god, new age religion. Yeah, thank you. Put it up there, new age religion. <laughs> so all that kind of stuff. You know, you're gonna get psychic information out there. Um, so just just be careful out there. Um, on Periscope that you're not. Yes, Unitarian. Thank you. You know, you get all these different things and. Um, you guys got to really be careful. Scientology, yes. So much error. So please make sure that you're really understanding and when people are talking. And I'm going to caution you because some of you guys kind of jump from site to site to site. Make sure that who you're jumping to listen to, it really has the spirit of God. You guys don't forget that people have a lot of things in their backgrounds that they have not exposed yet or they have not been, uh, hasn't been delivered from or they have, you know, kept, I told you about the girl whose um, mother used to be into crystals. And so she was trying to mix this type of crystal thing within Christianity. People do it a lot. Um, they'll come from one background to uh, Christianity and not realize that they cannot bring it in. They cannot bring that with them. Okay, and so you get a, yes, a soulish mess. That's what you get. <laughs> you get a mixture. Okay, so there's a lot of spirits out there. Every spirit is not of God. And you need to try the spirits by the spirit and make sure that what you're getting is 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 what God is saying and not some kind of folklore, myth, mythology, um, spiritism, new age culturalism. There's a lot of that out there. Be very careful about what you're told, okay? Yeah, oh man, we got some different stuff out there. We got some grave sucking out there and token the Holy Spirit and it's a lot of stuff going on, you guys. It's not biblical and you need to make sure divination, yes, yeah, so... Uh, really need to uh, step back and make sure that what you're getting is uh, <laughs> what God has given us, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and get into... Um, I know, I'm, I'm going faster. I'm going faster. I'm, I'm actually making bigger strides. So my book will be done very soon. And it's, it's making me push it real fast now because I'm looking out there and I'm thinking, oh, we need to hurry up and this book out. <laughs> so much going on out here in these streets. <laughs> yeah, these streets confusing folks. Help us. Sometimes with platforms and when people get platforms, they can give you everything that they got. And sometimes what they got is wrong. So you got to be careful out there. They're giving us. They're giving us a lot. Yes, familiar spirits. Help. Help us, Lord. <laughs> okay, that's my two cents for the day. Uh, be careful what's out there, okay? All right, let's get started to um, our dreams because, <laughs> yes, out there in them streets, they being deceived. <laughs> Watch out. Man, the streets is dangerous. <laughs> but it's a lot of those. And, there's, and who said that discernment is key? Absolutely. Um, Ann Davis, discernment is key. And uh, I can't see your name, Abigail. That's why you have to ask for the spirit of discernment. You do need to ask for it. If you don't feel like you have wisdom, ask for it. The Bible tells you he'll give it liberally to you if you ask for discernment, if you ask for wisdom. And you definitely need to be able to try that because if you don't have discernment, people will deceive you. i tell you one thing I think I found, um, even being a prophetic person working in the um, office of a prophet, and even in some of the apostolic, is that people can be very deceiving when you look at them. Right? They present themselves in one way. And it's very funny because I'll be praying for someone or 
ministry deliverance, but if you look at them on the outside, you won't understand until the Holy Spirit kicks in and tells you what's really going on with the person. People can really cover. They can really hide. And it's very easy to do it because we look on the outward appearance. And so you need the Spirit of God to begin to speak to you about people. He'll tell you about them, about their life, who they are. He'll speak to you about them. And you definitely need that discernment um, to understand because people will put on a great face for you. And um, they even speak words um, that sound right, but they're hard and they're hiding um, a lot of things in them that only the Spirit of God can reveal to you. Um, yes, he does have to trust you. He doesn't trust you. But the Spirit of discernment is not so much about trust. It's about God revealing. Now, if you want God to start telling you deep things about people, you need to trust you for that. I'm not talking about going deep and he giving you a whole, whole background like he will do with some people. I'm talking about discerning of spirits. If this spirit I should follow or a spirit I should not follow. Okay. If you want to go deeper, when you want God to give you prophecy and give you deep revelation about people, you have to have a, a, a deeper level of trust that God can trust you with. But he will give you discernment uh, to let you know if this spirit is of God and this spirit is not of God. Okay. Amen. Yeah. Telling the business. Yes. Amen. <laughs> All right. So um, let's get um, into uh, this dream scope today. <laughs> okay. Let's do our first dream today. Um, I think I got this up right. Let's see. Okay. Yes, I did. And it is. Okay. This is a pretty uh, decent dream here. Let me read it. Okay, I really like this dream. Um, it is kind of a warning dream, but it's, it's really good because the Lord is really speaking. I, I really like this dream. I'm going to read it to you. It said, I had a dream last night that I went to my mother's doctor's office to pick up stuff that belonged to her. She died, and they were having us, my family and I, just remove any trace of her from the office. I saw a chart or document on the wall that was like a disclaimer and said, what would happen to personal property if not picked up in X amount of days? He was being very nonchalant and making it seem like he was just her doctor. I looked in the trash can, and in it I found um, two sets of flowers from him to my mother. Okay, so it's a really good dream, actually. And it's funny because um, the connotation of the dream is very funny to me. Like he's just her doctor and then the flowers. So it would seem maybe an adulterous type of affair, but I'm going to show you why it's not that. Okay. I had him last night. I went to my mother's doctor's office. Well, doctors in dreams are usually representative of Christ. Mm -hmm. Jesus is a doctor. He heals all of our ills and our sicknesses and our woes and our pains. And he is Christ. When you got there to pick up your mother's stuff that belonged to her. And because she had died. And so what would the stuff be that belonged to your mother? It would be her gifts, her callings. See, when our parents or people pass away, they leave our spiritual inheritance to us. And there's so much time that God gives us to pick up those things, to walk into those giftings, to walk into those callings. Because we don't always do it. They leave a spiritual inheritance for us. We can either accept it or we can reject it. The thing about this dream, it says, I seen a chart. What would happen to the personal property if not picked up in X amount of days? So the Lord is letting you know that you have a time limit to walking in these gifts and callings um, that your mother's leaving to you. And if you don't pick it up, if you don't put it on, something's going to happen to it. Either you're going to lose it, it's going to skip another generation, or it's going to go to somebody else. Okay? So the Lord's letting you know that you need to come and get this. You need to come. And he said every trace of it. It means that he wants you to leave full. That everything she had, he wants you to leave full in it. And so everything that was left there, God said, come and get every trace of it. Because I want to give you all that she was and all that she did. Because when, when you're a person that goes into the spirit realm and you do the things of God, he wants you to have it all. Now there's times that our gifts and things skip generations because we don't walk into them. So your kids might have a gift that you don't walk in because really you didn't tap into it to get it. Okay. Now, also curses can be also passed through, but in this case, I'm letting you know it's blessings because you're in the doctor's office with the Lord, and He wouldn't just give you a curse. Okay. All right. So it says um, he was being very nonchalant and making it seem like he was just her doctor. Well, we know that Christ is not just our doctor. He's not just our healer. He is our husband. Christ is married to us. He's our husband. He, we get our inheritance from him. He also is our husband. He is. We are his bride. 
And so he's so for you, he's gonna let you understand that I didn't just have a fling with your mother. Oh, so good to me. Mm. I didn't just have a fling with her, but I loved her. I was a husband to her. And then if you look in the trash basket, there were flowers that were given. He said, I gave her gifts and calls. I wooed her. <laughs> this is getting too good to me. I'm a shout, y'all. Shout. He said, I loved her. She was beautiful to me. I gave her gifts. And I gave her callings. And I will. So God is saying, come and get what she had. <laughs> shout, y'all. Well, I'm telling you, I feel a shout in my spirit. He said, come and see. Come and taste and see that the Lord is good. <laughs> That I can be more to you yes. than just a doctor. Yes. I can be more to you. I can be a husband to you. He said, come and take part of what she had. Because I wooed her and I loved her. Y'all going to make me shout. Let me get it together. Yes, Lord. And so the Lord wants you to come to him. Come and pick up everything that she had. He said, I wooed her. I will woo you too. You. He said, you want, you want, you need, you need what she has. Mm. He said, I'm more than just a person who healed. I'm more than the man in her life. Mm. I'm her husband. Ha! Yes, God. Woo. Thank you. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Woo. Thank you, God. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. God wants you to know that he loves you. And that he wants more for you than what you have. He wants more for you with what you're seeing him. You only see him in one aspect. But God said, I'm more than that. I did more than that for her. So I'm letting you know today that God's calling you. Thank you, God. He's saying, come in and receive your inheritance. And it's more than just a man on the side. I was a husband to her. I gave her things. I wooed her. And I loved her. God said, come running. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. So we're praying for you, dreamer. Jesus. Praying for you that you will get and receive all that your mother had that the church can offer you because God wants you to come mm. closer. He wants to show you that he's more than what you see him as and he wants you to pick up her inheritance and God wants you to receive it. Yes, God, we praying for you. Mm. Believe in God that you're going to partake. <laughs> you're going to partake. Yes. You're going to part. You're going to be a partaker of his covenant. And he's going to move on your behalf because he wants to love you like uh, he loves your family. Yes, God. Lord. He wants to do more for you than you think. Thank you, God. Woo! My God. I got to get in. I'm telling you these dreams. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! All right, I'm trying to get myself together.